Hey everybody, it's Easter Sunday. Uh, just got back from church, had a good time there. Got to have some awesome fellowship with our church family. Now we're back at the homestead. Um, just had lunch. Um, weren't going to do much work today, but uh, we got a new addition to the farm yesterday in the fact that we got a new rooster. Um, we, we have a big rooster, the one you've been hearing over there. His name is Skeets, but we've got a lot of young roosters. This is a well summer, and he's probably 16 weeks or so old, maybe 20. This is Junior. He's just starting to crow, but he can only crow two notes. This is Shanks, Long Shanks, because he has long legs. He only uh, crows how many notes? <coughs> two notes. He only crows two notes. Skeet's flo he, he can hit them all. This is a little hen named Baby. This is Baby. And this is our Buff Orpington hen right here. This is... Buffy, or I call her Goldie sometimes. She'll call any, she doesn't like to be called late for dinner. Um, in a second, I'll show you the chicks, but I'm going to let this rooster out. We've had this rooster since yesterday. At roughly 2 o'clock, I got him at the sale barn. And I had been wanting a Bielefelder, but they're so expensive. Everybody's always sold out of them, so... When we got there, the first rooster I saw was this Bielefelder, and I got him for a really good price. I spoke to the owner. He's a real good rooster. So today, because he's been cooped up in there since yesterday, he's eating everything we're giving him, and I don't want him to get frustrated further. We can still handle him, but I'm going to introduce him to the flock. So we may see a fight. Hopefully we don't, but we may. So it's a little... Uh, a little dicey, but Skeets is way over there, so I'm hoping I can get him out without causing any trouble. <laughs> By the way, if you have roosters with spurs and you don't know what you're doing, call an expert because they can put your eyes out. They can even kill people. So warning, if you have no experience with chickens, don't try this at home. Call an expert in chickens. Again, roosters are dangerous. This one's name is Bubba. It's okay, Bubba. I have held Bubba already. So he knows I'm not going to hurt him. But this will probably be the last time I hold Bubba for a long time. As you can see, the man that I got this rooster from said this rooster was evil. It's not about the rooster, people. It's about the way you treat it. A lot of people mistreat roosters and they think about them in the wrong light. But if you look at this beautiful bird <laughs> up close, you can, say, you can see that this bird is created for a purpose. And his job is to protect those hens and make more Bielefelders. Hopefully we'll get some hens soon. So um, everybody get a good look at him. You may not see him again. He may be in your neighborhood next week. His name is Bubba, a.k.a. Bubs. Does he look good on film? Yeah. He's a dandy one. And his spurs. See his spurs? You see his spurs are almost as large as my pinky finger, and he's sharpened them down to the size of a pencil. See them? Those spurs right there. So that's what you got to be aware aware of. And right now, that rooster and him are probably going to have it out. So with no further ado, I'm going to let Bubba go, honey. All right, Bubba, you're a free bird now. I'm going to 
I'm curious to see what they do from this point forward. Have you got them? They really don't want to fight. My roosters want to fight more so than the others do. The Bielefelder, oh, is he a beautiful bird. There they go. I don't want them to fight, but it's part of the pecking order. I was expecting more fight, but he's already proven. Bubba has already proven in the few minutes that he's been out in the yard that he's the boss. And they will continue throughout the day. They'll continue throughout the day to, to tussle with one another. Okay, there's one important thing about introducing a new rooster to your flock. Number one, go to a good market. Um, go there and visit a few times and see what kind of livestock they're selling. See who's there. Ask about the quality that they've had in the years past. I understand there's chickens that are pretty busy behind me, but I'm trying to get through this. Um, take care of your birds. Hold them. Uh, people say roosters are bad. The man that I bought that rooster from came to me at the cell bar and said he was evil. We can all see he's not an evil bird. Um, but he will be the boss of this farm pretty soon. He is the most beautiful rooster I've ever seen. So, um, Yeah, that's what happens when you introduce a rooster. You just have to keep them separate for a while. And they just, they, they're not as curious. And believe it or not, that big rooster is now scared of my yearling Buff Orpington rooster. And, uh... Not to be crude for you animal lovers out there, but that big Bielefelder that's running at me right now killed a raccoon three nights ago protecting chickens. So that's what your roosters are for, to protect your chickens and give you more chickens. And he's going to be a fine addition to the Double M Farm Homestead. So we've got to watch chickens fight the rest of the day. I hope everybody had a blessed Easter. And uh, as for Mrs. M and I, we are out for the rest of the day. So with that being said, everybody uh, continue to enjoy your Easter and peace. Living on the farm, living on the farm, living on the farm.